What is going on everybody? Today we're looking at the Hasbro G.I. Joe Classified Series Con Exclusives for 2023. So first up we have the SDCC Chuckles figure. So this looks pretty cool with these awesome box designs you know they do for Comic Con. Not exactly sure what this is supposed to be. If it's like a TV, a speaker, sort of like security camera type thing. But we just see Chuckles there where he's got a file in his hands. And then we can see the Crimson Strike team which we'll have in the second box here. They're looking at him so he has like a weird picture or something down there. But overall just looks like you know some sort of device that we can open up this flap here and just see more so there we have what the figure is going to look like so you can see a figure and some of the accessories he's going to come with so that looks pretty fun but unfortunately we don't see the figure just this picture there and then we kind of have like a little comic kind of showing what he's doing there at the coconut palm resort so that's pretty cool i guess overall we like I said it kind of stinks we don't get to really see much of anything beyond just this cool box design i'd like to see more of the figure itself but it's at least cool that we have that and then we also have the crimson strike team so we have this box that's supposed to look like a briefcase on the back we have the cobra logo up top we you know have the handle and buckles and all that sort of stuff to get into it but we can go and slide this outer sleeve off so we have the sleeve up top with another design underneath here that still just looks like the briefcase just this time it's got like all this blood and stuff all over it. but i believe with this there's like magnetics yeah stuff up top so up the top here it's got a magnetic thing you can pull and open up and then we can see our figures in there which of course it'll be upside down so the right way here we can see our three figures of baroness and the crimson twins and then of course we'll have all their accessories and everything down in there so we have them just all in the crimson design and then up top we do have this extra little cardboard piece so we have this thing with cobra money so we have some gold there some gold bars and on the other side we do have a file card design so you can see that so there we can see like a bat design probably for the crimson team and all sorts of pictures there so yeah it looks like the crimson bat and then just sort of file designs that maybe chuckles was stealing that he had in the picture there on the side that he's got so it's pretty cool that we have this and then there's that same picture with chuckles there in the background so it's cool that these sets go together even though they are released at different times but it's cool that they go together so there we have Baroness and our Crimson Twins on like little television screen so pretty cool that this stuff all goes together and kind of tells a little story Chuckles stealing this so pretty cool box designs for these as well so let me go and get these open and out of the box and we'll take a look at each of the figures together and we're going to start off with Chuckles, whose real name is Philip Prost, and he's the Joe Team's undercover specialist working in criminal investigations and intelligence, known for his gregarious personality, being quick-witted, and a natural likability makes him the life of the party. But in this specific storyline, we see he goes undercover at the Coconut Palm Bar on Cobra Island to crack a safe full of secret documents and millions in gold without being caught by the Crimson Strike Team, so that's what we got sort of like the packaging design for him. But he looks pretty cool overall in this design, so he looks like he's very much on vacation where he has like the Hawaiian shirt design. So it looks pretty cool. So I love the blue shirt with the flowers and the leaves and that all looks nice. And then there's his face, which looks pretty decent with his blonde hair sort of parted and slicked back a little. It looks pretty nice, but it still has the straps around him with the holster there on his chest. So that looks nice. A gold watch there on his wrist. So it's like how it's even got a countdown timer. It looks like to one there, one second left hand belt around his waist with the little device there hooked on it. So he's still a part of the newer designs with the green pants that that look pretty nice with against the blue and stuff just stands out color wise with the thigh holster on his right and then black boots down there on his feet so overall you know pretty basic design but again he stands out especially with that floral shirt but we'll do the movements on him so his head twists all the way around can look down that far and up that far so not a whole lot of movements there but there is some the shoulders come up to 90 or at least close to 90 at least that far and can go back and forth with the butterfly joint and rotate around we get a bicep twist and the double elbow joint that can bend up that far which isn't too bad just a little over 90 with the wrist that'll twist around and hinge up and down for this hand then we get the ab crunch so we see the cutout crunch there so crunch forward and crunch back nice pop in there and then we also get the crunch at the waist and twist around there as well then we go to the hips that come up to 90 and out to the side Ooh, he can do the splits with the drop down hips we get the thigh twist all the way around the double knee joint that bends up that far to the back not far from kicking his butt a shin twist at the top of the boot and then the foot will flex back and forth and twist side to side so good movement for him and you know pretty standard for the gi joe so nothing out of the ordinary which overall makes it a nice figure now accessory wise we do get a handful of accessories since this is more of an exclusive like deluxe figure so we do get more accessories so first we get an additional head so we have a beat up head so he's got a missing teeth a black eye there so he's got all his eyes all puffed up some scrapes there on his face and everything so it looks pretty good to have an all beat up version of chuck 
sparkles, which I probably won't put on right now, but it just gives you that option. He does come with a lay, so he can get laid there while going into, I wanna say Hawaii, but obviously he's not on Hawaii, but you can put that lay there around his neck, which sits on there pretty nice, I think. He does come with some extra hands as well, so to go along with that busted up face, he does have some hands with some brass knuckles, so that's pretty cool, so we could switch his hands out to make him fight, but I'll obviously wanna give him weapons, so I'll just leave what he has on there. He comes with a pair of sunglasses, so we see the red lenses on there, so that looks pretty decent. I wonder how well they'll sit on his face. So they're on his face there, they don't seem to sit on too well, it looks like they may be a little bit bent up or something that won't sit on his face properly, but that doesn't look too bad, I don't think, like I said, the issue with the earpiece on that side, but everything else about it looks pretty decent. Then he has some random accessories, so since he is undercover and possibly doing spine, we get a set of binoculars, so again, a binoculars we can put into his hands, but it does also have a design here that if we spin around to his belt, he does have a little like clip piece right there, so we can take this and just clip it on, so it'll hold his binoculars right on the back of him. And then he also does come with a Walkman or a cassette player, so he can play some tunes, so we have that, and it has a little peg there that can go into the hole, so we can peg this in the back, and it'll peg on his belt just like that, so he can always have some tunes playing, and to go along with that, we do also get a set of headphones. Now, usually with headphones like these in the past, they usually don't look good. We'll go and take the glasses off so they're out of the way, but they don't look good usually, so let's just see how they sit. So there it is on them. Again, they're not perfect, and they do look a little bit bent up, so I have to fix that, but they don't look horrible. They look better than we've had in the past, so that's good at least. We also start to get weapons, so we get a knife, so we have this nice looking knife there that we can stick into the thigh holster down here, so it sits right in there, and then we do also get a pistol as well that can go into the holster here on his chest. So now he has the gun and knife there on him, and then a part of his mission, he does come with a briefcase as well, so we have this brown leather briefcase, looks like there's a scratch or something there on the front and there on the back, but this does actually open, and inside it's pretty empty. There is a file folder that's supposed to be that file we saw in the strike team box, so it's just the file folder with all the secret files in it and a picture of the crimson bat there, so just a briefcase you can store all this in, and then I'll go ahead and put them in here as well, but we do also get a set of handcuffs so he can be arresting someone, or he himself, I guess, could be under arrest as well, and then there is also a broken pair, so it could be someone you know, broke the chains and got loose, so if you have those options, I'll go and just stick them all in there, and we can put this briefcase into his hand, and I'll probably put his gun in the other hand. So there's Chuckles all kitted out. I got the briefcase and the pistol there in his hand, so he looks pretty cool there, ready to take on the Crimson Strike team. He does hold most of his accessories. He does come with the extra head and hands, so you have that, and then you could also get the sunglasses on him, and I think his headphones fell off somewhere. I don't know what happened to him, but yeah, we have all those accessories, so you can get most of them on him at least, which is pretty cool, but overall, he looks really nice and love the design of this figure. It's definitely gonna be one that stands out on the shelf. And moving over to the Crimson Strike team, we have Baroness. Now in this, we see Baroness is in alliance with Tomax and Zayma and their elite squad of loyal troopers as the Crimson Guard. Now Baroness is Cobra's intelligence officer, trained as a spy and saboteur. So she looks good and looks pretty much just like we've had before. The only difference, she's going to come with different heads, some different hair sculpts, but everything else is going to be about the same, except that she's in the Crimson colors this time, so mostly all red. So I like the darker, and this is a mostly dull dark red. I wish they were the bright red, but darker red for like her bodysuit running throughout, but then a shiny material metallic red on the chest plate with the silver cobra which looks pretty nice but overall looks good so we have her hair the long black hair there she's got the red lipstick and black makeup around her eyes so that looks good like I said the darker red bodysuit from the neck all the way down till you see like the top of her legs there then she's got some black guards on her forearm again with like the cobra logo into the black gloves that shiny chest plate on her chest belt around the waist with the gold cobra logo and the straps going around to the holsters there on the back the red continues down the leg and you can see there's like some different texture designs on there. Then we have the thigh high black boots with the silver designs, the segmentation running through them all the way down to the boots there on her feet. So overall she looks like I said pretty much exactly the same, just changed out the colors from black to red on a lot of her outfit here. Now Moon, why is the head will twist around? Now it's hard with the hair piece to really get it too much, but it'll twist side to side and look down that far and up just pretty much straight on. Again because the hair, the shoulders do come up. Now she has some stiffness with a lot of her joints, but her shoulders can come up to 90 with the butterfly joint back and forth and can rotate all the way around. We get a bicep twist and the double elbow joint that bends up that far which is pretty good pretty much all the way up on herself with the wrist that'll twist around and hinge up and down for this hand then we go to the ab crunch so we have crunch right under her chest so crunch back and forth and she should be able to yeah, twist side to side not much but it is there and then also crunch and twist all the way around at the waist then we get the hips that come up to 90 and out to the side again those drop down hips can do the splits and if we push them back up we get the thigh twist around the double knee joint that bends up that far to the back and then the foot will flex back 
back and forth and twist side to side. So pretty much the same as the past figures. The only difference that I really noticed is that she does have the pinless double elbow joint. So gets her better range in there. Now, unfortunately for her, the way her shoulders are designed, just I don't know if it's just the stiffness or what's going on with here, but I can only get her shoulders down that far. So her arms sort of stick out to the side, which is quite annoying. Now, again, with this being a con exclusive, it's going to come with a lot of accessories as well. So first thing, she does come with some additional heads. So we have a head with like more of a smile there. It looks like maybe some red there around her face and around her eyes. So I feel that'd probably fit a little bit more with the crimson team just so shows some more of the red design. And then she also comes with this masked up version. So she has this gold mask with red eyes and little fangs there. So those look pretty cool and crazy. So we can switch out those different heads. And as I said, I may switch this one out just because it's, you know, got more of that red design. And then she does also come with a replacement hair piece too. So if you didn't notice, this is a piece that can come off. So we can make her look like she's bald there without any hair and then can put this other hair piece on. So there it's got, I'd say more of a classic design. So it's got more of like these bangs up top and then our hair's there flowing in the wind. I don't think the design looks too good with it. You know, it does look very like 70s or something. So not the best design. I like that other hair more. But like I said, I may switch the face out at least to give it more of that red face. So there I switched the face out. Like I said, you can see some red there on her cheek, around her eyes, and then she's doing like biting her lip or something. Not sure what's going on exactly. Maybe she has a fat lip. Maybe she got hit as well. So we can have that on her. So again, like I said, with that red, just goes in better with the Crimson team. She does also come with her glasses. So the other Baronesses have always had glasses. We do get two different pairs. So we have a pair of like rounded glasses and then these one with the yellow lenses. So let's just put each on and see what they look like. So I did find something out that if you want to put the glasses on, you probably have to switch to this other hairstyle because I could not get the hairstyle on with the glasses as well. So I guess just to be able to have her wearing glasses, you'd have to switch to this hairstyle. And then again, they still don't seem like they fit on too well, the glasses or her hair together. I'm not sure what it is, but at least I can get them on together there. So there's the more rounded glasses, what I'd call like the Harry Potter glasses. And there she has the yellow lens glasses, which I actually think those look pretty good. So that's probably what I would leave on her there just because I think those look pretty good. So I like having her with the glasses and I like that design there overall. And then we get a lot of weapons and we're gonna have weapons that we've had already with the other Baronesses just in different colors. So they're gonna mostly all be in gold. So we get two pistols there. So we have two pistols that we can then take and just stick into the holsters here on her back. So it'll sit in her belt like that. She also comes with a pair of knives. So we have these long knives with the Cobra heads on them in gold. So those look pretty cool as well. Again, we've had knives just like these with her before. We get a set of Uzis. So we have Uzis in gold. So it kind of again fits with her what we've had in the past. So it look pretty cool with the gold. And then each of them also comes with a silencer. So we can take silencers and stick on the end of the gun. So just go like that. So they at least have some red going in with the gold fitting for the Crimson team. So we have those Uzis we could give to her. And then finally, she also comes with her Cobra gun. Again, we've had this gun before as well. Pretty much all in black this time, but still has some gold design with the little red eye there looks pretty cool so that's an awesome gun may have to give this to her so there I just gave her that Cobra gun and then one of the blades so that looks pretty cool and we can bring in that older Baroness so we have this version of Baroness here you know body wise everything's gonna look pretty much the same like I said they just changed up the colors to the red mostly and she's gonna come with a lot of the same weapons now it's cool that this one at least has a holder for one of the blades there on her thigh it looks like maybe a different blade altogether but at least it has a holder there where I wish this one had holders for those blades as well but overall I think this looks pretty cool like I said, it's not perfect. Like I think the first head design probably looked overall the best, but then with that hair, you can't get the glasses on it. But if you just mess around and play with stuff, you just got to figure out what works for her. So I think all that looks pretty cool. And then we do also get these gold bases as well that has Crimson Strike Baroness, so we can put her on it. So there she's on that and that'll keep her stable and standing. So it is really cool to get the Crimson Strike Team Baroness there. I think she looks pretty awesome in the all red. And then we've got Tomax and Zaymon, or the Crimson Twins, and they're the corporate faces of Cobra that manage Cobra's business affairs, specializing in infiltration, espionage, sabotage, propaganda, and corporate law. And again, we've had them before in their basic designs, but this time we have part of the Crimson Strike team with the All Red. So we have Tomax and Zaymon, or at least I hope I have them in the correct order. But they both, you know, look pretty much identical. The only difference is that, you know, one has left, one has right. So this guy has stuff on his right. So as a shoulder guard there, or neck guard, whatever it is, in gold so I love the red and gold designs with this and the silver so the red outfits with silver on the chest and this sash with like I said the neck guard there in gold and the shoulder guard on the right and same with the band there on his right hand then a belt around the waist with the gold but still pretty much the exact same design we've had before just again with the red black and silver this time nice little cobra designs there on his thighs and the boots going down to the feet and then obviously for Zaymont we have it on the left so he has the gold shoulder guard there on his left and same with that band there on his left hand so pretty much there 
they're exactly the same. So we'll just do the movements on one because, like I said, they're going to be the same. But the distinguishing thing is, at least I believe I like said I have right, is that Zaymont has the scar down the left side of his face. So you can see that scar going down there. So that's one thing to distinguish between the two of them. But we'll do the movements on Tomax here so the head can twist around. At least yeah, should be able to twist all the way around. Maybe hard with that shoulder guard piece, but it can twist around there. And, of course, the neck got all twisted. And he can look down that far and up that far. So not very much movement there. Then we get the shoulders that can come up to 90 with the butterfly joint back and forth and rotate around. We have the bicep twist and the double elbow joint that can bend up that far, so not too bad. Wrist twist around and hinge up and down. Then we get the ab crunch in the middle, so crunch forward and crunch back, so good crunching, as well as crunch and twist a little at the waist. Then we get the hips that can come up to 90 and out to the side can do the splits with the drop down hips, thigh twist all the way around. The double knee joint that bends up that far to the back can almost kick his butt. We get the shin twist at the top of the boot, so it twists around there and the foot will flex back and forth and twist side to side. So again, pretty much exactly what we've had before with our basic version of Tomac and Zaymont and then that will be the same between both of these figures and pretty similar to Baroness I do have issues with their arms not being able to fold it's like I can't get the shoulder down anymore so the arm just kind of sticks out to the side and you can see that on both of them they sort of stick off far there and accessory wise we do get a number of weapons and again we'll have the same for both of them because they're completely identical so we get a pair of crisp blades so the blades with the nice like sort of wave to them which look pretty cool with the gold handles again we've had these before now each of them do have slots for them so they have one around their belt so you can take and stick this down there so sheath off the belt so slide that in and then one down on their leg as well and again they'll be the opposite so you can store them on there and then we'll do the same with Zaymont so there he's got the blades on his shin and belt as well and then we get what I guess you'd consider their signature weapons of the like submachine guns so look pretty decent as well I believe the yeah magazines do come out of them so you have that option and look pretty cool so nice small gun with a little grip of the fun a little bit of scope up there so those look pretty cool and gold and then much like Baroness's they also come with silencers as well in red so you can have the silencer on the end of those. So let's go and put these into their hands. So there we have Tomax and Zaymont with their guns again looking identical. And then we do also have their other versions. So again, the basic version. So we have them here and they're going to be exactly the same. Like I said, they just changed the colors of the outfit. But body wise, it's going to be exactly the same between these older ones and the newer ones. And there they look identical, which is pretty cool. And finally, they come with the bases as well, like Baroness. So we get theirs with the Crimson Strike team of Tomax and Zaymont that we can pop these on. So there they are on the bases. And again, I love love having these bases just because you know it keeps the figure standing you can sort of pose them up still on them and they'll keep them nice and display nice on a shelf so I love getting those bases with these figures but there we've got both Tomax and Zayma and I both think they really cool, look cool a part of the Crimson Strike team. And with both Archon exclusive sets, we can set up a little fight scene between the Crimson Strike team and Chuckles trying to escape with their information. So those all look pretty cool. Love the design of these. Of course, they're not all necessary like Chuckles, I think, is since it's, you know, the only Chuckles we've gotten so far. So I think he's pretty necessary and a cool figure to get exclusive with all the different fun accessories. But the Crimson Strike team, you could easily pass on unless you want them in their Crimson design, which I do think is cool since, you know, they are part of the Crimson Guard. So it's cool to have them in those colors. And I do like that, but they're not necessary since as I've shown we've already had these figures in their basic designs so it's cool to at least get them but not necessary but really love adding chuckles to, into the collection so let me know what you thought of these two packs down in the comments and if you enjoyed this review let me know with a thumbs up but I want to thank you all for watching i hope you all stay awesome out there and i'll see you in our next review